Framing an interview seems like an easy task, but does help to know a few simple interview setups and the effect they have on your video and your viewer. First, the super wide angle shot. This is an establishing shot. It's great if the environment plays a role in the interview or is something important to the interview subject. Next, the wide or full shot. This shows the interviewee from head to toe. It'll usually be used to show the subject in some sort of action that requires the whole body. This shot shouldn't be used for too long because it creates an emotional distance between the viewer and the subject. The medium shot includes everything from just below the waist or just above. This shot allows some background to remain, but focuses more on the subject. It also allows us to see their hand gestures and body language, which is great for subjects who express themselves with their hands. The medium close-up gives us a much more intimate perspective. We're seeing head and shoulders and getting little background. It's all about the subject at this point and works well for drawing the viewer's attention to what's being said. The close-up or headshot is just the head. It's even more intimate than the medium close-up. This shot should only be used for emotional moments as it removes background almost entirely and it's almost uncomfortably close. It's not a good idea to frame a whole interview this way, but if an emotional point is being made, it can really help to just quickly zoom in and get that emotional point on camera. There's one more framing technique, but first let's look at a few simple rules that'll help improve your shots. First, headroom. It's always a good idea to leave a small amount of space between the subject's head and the top of the frame. If you leave too little headroom, it means you're cutting them off at the forehead too much and they're talking up into the camera and you're almost looking down on them. Looking room is another key point. If the subject isn't looking directly into the camera, and for an interview they really shouldn't be, put them to one side and let them talk diagonally across to the interviewer on the opposite side of the camera. If you do it the other way around though, it looks like they're talking to a wall. You should also have the camera at eye level. If it's shot from above, you'll feel like you're looking down on the subject. If it's shot from below, you'll feel like you're looking up to them or that they're very important. Finally, the super close-up, which can be used to reveal a detail or for this.